welcome to the Mind Matter Show. I'm Dr. Craig Pullman, and my guest is the Psych Mom, Dr. Yeah, Barry Morgenstein. You got it. Yeah. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. So we are going to do something uh, that we've done here before on the Mind Matter Show. It is called Bowl of Questions. Emma Kate, our producer, is going to bring out the bowl right now. Spectacular! Look at this. This bowl contains multiple questions that are designed just for your expertise, okay. Dr. Barry. Yes. Are you ready? Yes, I will Let's do go my with best. The first question. Okay. What's your favorite academic skill to assess and why? Um, we were just talking about this. I would actually have to say um, phonics, phonemic awareness, mm -hmm. and like we were just talking about quantitative versus qualitative assessment and really kind of trying to understand if children are having a hard time reading or spelling where some of those struggles are coming mm -hmm. from. Great, and so that would be important for both decoding and for spelling. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Very yep, cool. And is related to auditory processing as well. All right. Yeah. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Wow, interesting. What's a good first sign to teach a baby or toddler? Oh, You're really into sign language. Probably the sign milk would be one of the best signs. I could vouch for that. Yes. Yes, because yes, it's an easy one. Um, what is that again? Just milk, like you're like you're milking a cow, but yeah, exactly like very that. Very bucolic. Yes. Yeah. So that's that's probably the best sign for um, for a, a younger child, for more of like an infant, maybe around eight nine months. Whenever you're starting. Eight to nine teach. months. Well, I mean, you can certainly wow. start. It is recommended that you can start as early as five months. They're obviously not going to start mimicking you right away, mm -hmm. but um, when they do start signing, they're going to kind of follow suit. So mm -hmm. milk is really probably one Excellent. of the best ones. Excellent. Really good tip. All right, are you ready? I'm ready for the next question from the ball. What annoys you more? Irregardless, or I could care less. Oh my gosh, they're both horrible. Horrible. I, I would have to say um, I could care less. Um, I don't hear irregardless as much, but I hear I could care less all the time, and that makes me very frustrated because if you could care less, then why are you even telling me about it? If you couldn't care less, then you care so little that it's actually an important point. So yes. I could I could care less really kind of. They both annoy me as well. Yes. I, I'm, I think I'm going to. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I agree yeah. with you on that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Are you ready for the next one? I do hate conversate also. Oh. That one kind of gets me. Blood pressure rising. Yeah. What's the connection between auditory processing and attention? What is the connection? Well, I would say that both of them can very often look very similar, um, especially in young children. You can have a, a young child in preschool who. Um, is not paying attention during circle time or story time and you can't really tell is it driven by inattention or distractibility or is it driven by they're not really able to process what's going on in the group they're not understanding the story because it's auditory you know it's presented auditorily and so they tune out as a result so um, you know first you have to have attention in order to get the information in and then you have to be able to process it auditorily um, but I think very often they're misdiagnosed one or the other because they look can look so similar. That, that's a really interesting talk. We'll have to have you back okay. and we'll talk in more depth about that. All right, let's do one more question here and then we've got a game that we're going to play with you here wrap things up. How long does a learning assessment take? It depends on who you ask. I would have to say, well, for, you. for me, yeah. um, I'm probably one of the more um, obsessive compulsive clinicians in the practice. So I would say that I typically schedule about six hours, three hours one day, three hours another day, with some nice breaks in between and some good chit chat interview time. But I like to make sure that I have ample time and I like to be flexible. And if we end early, we end early. But I like to um, take my time and be thorough. I, I don't think that makes you obsessive. I think six hours is about what good, I take. Good, great. Maybe, maybe not like three and three or something like that. All right, let's wrap up with uh, a game that we like to play here with Dr. Barry called Match That Baby. Okay. So I'm going to give you a television show or movie, and you tell me what the uh, baby character's name was All from right. that uh, from I'll that, do my uh, best, show. yes. Modern Family. Uh, Lily. Excellent. Yeah. Nicely done. Raising Arizona. I don't know if I've officially seen all of that movie, uh, but I'll do my best guessing if you give me my okay. choice. Okay. Was it Nikki, Norton Jr., or Nathan Jr.? Nathan Jr.? Nicely done. All right. The Simpsons. Oh, Baby Maggie. Excellent. Yeah. Let's just keep up. I got a few okay. more here. Let's all wrap right. it up Go here. For it. Three Men and a Baby. It was a little girl. I don't know. Give me the multiple choice. Mary, Missy, or Maggie? Mary. Nicely done. Lost. The baby. 
Oh my gosh, I'm blanking. I knew I was going to blank on something. You know, like Claire's in. baby. Yeah, yeah, Claire's baby. Um, a boy. Why am I blanking? Give it to me. Nathan, Aaron, or Adam? Oh, Aaron, Aaron, Aaron. Nicely Aaron, done. Aaron. And finally, Up All Night, new TV show now with uh, Christina Apple, uh, Christina Applegate. Oh, right? my husband watches that. I don't. So try me on that. Ava, Amy, or Allie? Ava. No, 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 no. Amy, 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 Amy. It's Amy. Oh, it's Amy. you got it in just think, under the wire. For a minute, it's Amy. It's Amy. There you go. Yeah. Nicely played, yeah. Dr. Barry. Thanks for having Check me. Check out the Psych Mom show here on Southeast Psych, Southeast Psych Studios, yeah. the Psych Mom blog. Uh, you can like Psych Mom on Facebook and follow the Psych Mom on Twitter. Awesome ways to stay connected. Thanks a lot for Great. being here. Great. Thanks so much. I'm Dr. Craig Pullman for Mind Matters at Southeast Psych, where we are saving the world one learner at a time.